Fora TV. The world is thinking. What's your analysis of the flaws in that report? Uh, we are understanding that one of them was time pressure. Other than time pressure, how did it get that bad? Mm -hmm. um, I'll try to simplify this because it's a different answer for each of the parts. The worst was the nuclear, but the nuclear was the one that was pointed to. Uh, you know, quotations about uh, can't have the smoking gun be a mushroom cloud kind of thing. There was uh, what I regard as a uh, rather blatant disregard for expertise on this one. Uh, there were some judgments made around aluminum tubes and what they could be used for. And the Department of Energy specialists who build centrifuges said it wouldn't work. We in INR went to the company that makes the type of centrifuge that was being cut, said it wouldn't work. We went to the Brits who build these things, said it wouldn't work. There was evidence on um, uh, certain types of magnets, magnets that were ordered, ring magnets that could be used in this, but they have many, many applications. If you didn't assume they were four centrifuges, you could have judged them to be used in many other. In fact, we now know they were ordered for a part of the missile program. Uh, the keeping of nuclear scientists together, an assertion that was made in there and it was extrapolated from a very small number of people. Keeping the nuclear, but again, because of the um, UN investigations, the IAEA investigations, work that DOE had, we had hun the names of hundreds of people who had been involved in the program uh, in, up until 1990. And we knew where most of them worked. And most of them actually had important day jobs uh, in military industries. So there was a, an easier explanation. So there were a lot of things that, in the end, was sloppy analysis, truly sloppy analysis. And this will sound harsh, but the the terrible NIE that is blamed for having such a deleterious impact, in fact, was read by almost nobody. It's really quite striking, because of its classification, it had to be signed out. So we know that hundreds of people were claimed that they were misled by something they hadn't read. I haven't figured out the explanation for that yet. Um, but there's, so there's a gap between effect and quality. One of the final one, a generalized problem, is that there was a bias that was more like a lawyer than an analyst. And it's, it's you know, we've translated into training programs. Where the lawyer has got a bottom line, go get it. Find the precedents, build the argument that makes the case. Saddam was evil, he'd had chemical weapons, he'd had biological uh, programs, he'd had a nuclear program, he had a missile program. Uh, he had it once, he must have it. If we're not finding it, uh, it's because he's good at hiding it. So evidence was systematically interpreted to make the case, not looked at to say, what are the alternative ways in which you could account for this observed phenomena? That's the biggest flaw in it. Now, the chemical weapons was a bad source. The biological one was grab bag. Uh, that he'd had this, he had that, he had that, so he might still have it all even though the evidence. The missile one turned out to be mostly right um, uh, on this, so it, it was an uneven performance. But fundamentally, it was failure to consider alternative hypotheses.